Hey guys, how's it going? Tracy. I feel like I haven't filmed a video, like a real like sit down video in forever, you guys. Like, I've just been so busy with everything and I've been vlogging way more than I probably should. I feel like vlogging has kind of taken over my life, but we are going to get back in the swing of things and I'm going to start you off with a love with food box. Um, this is my second box. Um, the first one was amazing. It was super good. There was like one thing I did not like in there. Um, this is a $12 per subscription. It's $10 for the box and $2 for shipping. So it's super cheap, you guys. Um, it's healthy and nutritious snacks that you can eat pretty much um, on the go anywhere. And it gives you a nice variety. You usually get um, 8 to 10 different snacks in here, which is really cool. And you get a lot of different coupons and things like that for healthy living and healthy eating and I have been really oh, trying to do that which it's kind of working kind of not you know you gotta find your happy medium but another nice thing about this box is when you do purchase it um, you are help feeding America by um, each box gives a one meal to a family somewhere in the US which is really awesome so it's a good cause. So um, this would be February's box. And oh, you guys, I hope you guys all had a really good um, Valentine's Day. I know I did. I was able to go to a play and I got flowers. And I got a really, really cool um, Pandora bracelet that I've always wanted. Um, so yeah, but besides that, um, let's open this baby up and start tasting. Okay. So the first, this is, give me one minute. Alrighty, this is better. This is everything I got in this box. This is a lot of stuff this week, or this month. So, I'm going to push you back just a tad bit. Got to make some room. So, let's see. Ooh, Mardi Gras. So this must be their Feb their March box. No, it says February. You know. So let's see what we get all in this box today. We get eight products today. So this just is a little detailed map of what you get, what everything is, if it's gluten free, is it vegan, the whole shebang. So let's just get into this because you know I love to eat and. I have some water right here because the last one thing in that box last month was just like no go. I don't know. But let's see. The first thing is is this almond honey rice protein bar. There it is. Let's get my handy dandy paper out and figure out what this thing is all about. Protein Almond Honey Bar by Ray's Bar. Only three ingredients. Um, so, only three ingredients in here. Hmm, interesting. Well, this is what it looks like. So we will open it up and try it. So, uh, I did not think it was gonna look like this. At all. I thought it was gonna be like, um, that's what it looks like, you guys. Hmm. It, it kind of smells like um, almond butter. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, cracking it open. I thought it was going to have like nuts and stuff in it, but I guess if it's only three ingredients, you know. Mmm. I don't like this. Mm -mm. No, I would not eat this. Um, it's definitely really honey, and it's really smooth, which I guess is nice. But um, I feel like I'm just eating like hard, like or not hard, but like kind of like outdated almond butter, and then they put. A whole bunch of um, honey on this to make it like taste better 
Sorry, Rise, but you are no go for me. Nope. Let's try something different. Baked mac and cheese puffs. Oh my god. These sound amazing. Mac and cheese puffs. Mm. Hella yeah. It sounds fucking awesome. Let's see. Hush puppy corn and rice puffs doused in cheddar cheese and kissed with buttermilk makes frying so old school. And it is by a snick kittle? Snick kitty? Snick kitty? Kitty, something. These seem like they would be a success. So let's try these out. Mmm, they smell good. They kind of smell like mac and cheese a little bit. Let me get one out for you. So they kind of shaped like it. They got a little hole in the middle. Guys, I'm like super dis- they're not- they're not amazing. They're okay. They taste good. They just taste like a regular cheese puff with cheese on them. After they don't- they don't taste like mac and cheese. Nothing too exciting about these. They're good though. I mean, I would totally eat a bag of these. But- for them to say that it's baked mac and cheese, no. But as you can see, I'm still eating them, so they ain't horrible. They're good. But instead of pain, because these are like all natural organic I would probably go for my regular um like cheese puffs in the store and not spend more money on them. so what else is in here you get two of divine milk chocolate Milk chocolate mini pieces by Divine Chocolate, produced by the only fair trade chocolate company owned by Cocoa Farmers. Let's pop one of these babies open. I'm not a big fan of um, uh, I got the golden ticket, baby. We're going. Just kidding. I'm so weird today. I don't know what's going on. It's so awkward. Um, I'm not a big fan of milk chocolate. I would definitely like dark chocolate, but look at these things. I guess I shouldn't have broke it. Here. That's what it looks like. Packaging. Hmm. It's good. I like it. Very delicious. I would probably buy that. It's a lot creamier than most um, dark ch um, milk chocolates I've had. Um, a lot of times they're really chalky. So, yeah. Okay. So, next thing in here I see. Tony Pacheri's Famous Creole cuisine the original creole seasoning i'm guessing this goes with um the uh, mardi gras theme because you know it's down south and they use a lot of creole creole um you can put it in from crawdaddies to jumbo this msg free creole seasoning turns any mouthful into a party on your plate we're gonna be brave here and I'm just going to set the tip. And I'll probably use this. I'll probably put it on. That was like really powdery. So hopefully I don't 
I've never had Creole seasoning. All right. That's what I'm going to try. All right, you guys. It tastes good. It's got a little bit of tang to it. But I'm kind of disappointed. You know why? Because this tastes almost exactly like seasoning salt. No joke. That's what it tastes like. So, you guys, this box, I don't, I'm not feeling it today. I don't know why. But that tastes just, this just tastes like seasoning salt. Added maybe some cayenne pepper to it. Boom, you're done. Okay. You gotta find some good shit. Alright. Dolce to Petites. Lemon wafer bites. No high um, crust corn syrup. That's what these look like. Yeah. Let's see. Let's read it. With a, okay. Um, it is a, it has a rich, creamy, rich, creamy center wrapped inside a crispy wafer that is sure to do you, do voodoo to who you know. So we'll see about this. Because, oh, they're really small. Wow. Like baby size. Yeah, they're really cool. The packaging, well, they are super lemony, you guys. Woo, that is sweet. It's good. You have no in them. If you really like lemon. You will love these. Like I said before in my other videos, I'm not a super sweets person. Like, these are totally up my alley. Salty, crunchy, ugh, no. This stuff, it is really good, but for my taste, it's just, it's really sweet. So I could only maybe have like two or three of these, and I'm tapping out. But... I would totally give these a try if you really like lemon and you're a big sweets person. They're super good, you guys. Really good. Mm, it says that it's really good. You can put them in a in the freezer for like a frozen treat. Cool. Maybe one more. Now we're done. I like them, but. In, in small doses. Just a little. Alrighty. Oh, look, they give you beads. For Mardi Gras. Can't really see them. Styling now. Okay. Let's see. So we got some more candies. is called by oh I'm horrible with names you guys I suck at writing and reading and all that so let's see here well it's by this brand Devillant 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 and it is a toffee crunch truffle cream a celebration of buttered toffee with almonds and robes in a fine milk chocolate that wouldn't roll. You wouldn't roll with these. Oops. I keep dropping stuff today. Ooh, I like toffee, so. Little thing. Hmm. Interesting. I thought I was going to bite into like a hard piece of toffee, but since it's like a truffle, truffles are more soft in the middle, so 
So you definitely have that soft texture. But um, uh, the um, the um, I can't talk. The toppy pieces are super, super fine. So you just get really teeny, crunchy pieces. But I really don't taste toppy in here. I really just taste milk chocolate and like a creamy inside with a little bit of crunch. So I'm not too impressed with this. Mm -mm. All right, next thing. We have some chocolate milk, milk drink or powder. Traditional hot chocolate by um, and MOBA created by French master chocolate tears with 32% chocolate one sip and you'll float away into the French quarters I'm not gonna try this right now but I will let you guys know how I feel about it. oh the tea the black tea that I had from last box was fucking amazing I actually went and bought some I found it at my local grocery store Super good. So if you want to, if you're really tea, a good tea person, and you want to um, experience a really good tea, and it's really pretty easy. Like you can get it, you know, a lot of places. Um, I would suggest you go to my um, my other love of food video and ch check out what I ate there. And it was a black tea, and I can't remember. It's from it's from Hasha Hisha Hasha whatever that brand. It was super good. So. Next box, I will let you know how this um, works out for me. Which um, I like hot cocoa, so I'm good. Works. Alrighty, so we have Boulder Cannon naturally flavored olive oil chips. Kettle chips. Kettle chips are super good. These are vegan, gluten free olive oil potato chips. Um, there's no cholesterol, no trans fat. And um, they're cooked in small batches with 100% um, olive oil. These look really good. Mm, they smell amazing. I should probably take a smaller one, shouldn't I? Camera worthy. Mm hmm. These are good. I like these because they're super crunchy and totally up my alley. There's not a lot of sugar in or there's not a lot of sugar. There's not a lot of salt on these. So sometimes you can get kettle chips and they're just overly salty. But for me, I like that they kept the, the chip how the chip is. Super good. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Boulder chips, you're doing it right. These are good. Okay. So then, you know, we always get coupons and things like that. Last last box, I had a ton of coupons and a ton of gift cards. And I kind of like when companies do that. But at the same time, like, I went to a couple of the websites because they looked interesting. And then... You get in there and you're like, oh, well, it's a $40 gift card. Like, oh, awesome. But then you go to the website and then you have to spend like $150 to use the gift card. So then technically, you're still spending way more money than you want. So I would rather them just give us more food, personally, than getting a whole bunch of coupons. Like, this time was a good box because we only got three 
coupons or free little ads, which is really nice. So this is Pork Clouds, the pork grind, sorry, reinvented, 100 calories, cooked in olive oil, no carbs. Really? I have no idea what that is. I didn't eat anything. This was, I don't know if this was supposed to be sent. Are we supposed to eat something? Um, I've never heard of this. I will have to give it a whirl and see. I'm guessing it's, oh, pork rinds. Like, pork rinds. Duh. Hello, Tracy. Come on. I, I know what that is. So I will have to go check that out and see. It's 10% off. Free shipping. So. Um, and you get 20% off with your order if you and you receive free shipping for those raised bars. If you guys are one of those people who like the protein type of taste, um, this would be a good coupon for you. I'll leave all the coupon codes below. I don't think they'll really care. I mean, it's giving them business. So there's that one. And then the last one is 50 cents off a bag of the Boulder Chips which I will definitely use if I can find them. I probably can find them maybe probably at like a Trader Joe's. So yeah, my shirt's like falling off. So you guys, that is everything in my love with food box. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm glad that I'm able to film and talk again, like regular to you guys and not just be in a vlog. Um, I hope you guys really liked this video. Again, I think I said that probably like five times. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are all having a really great day and I'll talk to you later. See ya!